What's up, guys? Welcome back, man. It's been a while. Uh, yep. I imagine, you know, after that crazy schedule you had, you probably need a little bit of time off. But I just wonder, the time away, was it, you know, good time away or was it almost like frustrating time away? Were you ready to get back in here? No, it was, it was great time away. Uh, it was definitely needed. I just wanted to develop some of the skills that I needed to, to develop that I, that I feel like I really need in order to be champ. Um, lost a couple close ones recently, so uh, got kind of sick of that. So... Um, Wanted to fix that, and then, um, yeah, it was a good time away, man. I, I feel like I really needed it in order for me to, like, become an actual champion. How tough was it for you to kind of process those last two results, right? Because they were amazing fights. They were difficult circumstances. They were against the best guys in the world, right? Like, and you know you're right there with them, but as you said, you came up just short. So I guess, like, how tough was it to kind of process all that? Yeah, the pain of losing is the pain of losing regardless of who it's against or, or you know, the performance or whatever. So... The TJ one was just like a little bit especially painful because I like really didn't want to lose that one against TJ for one, and then two, I just didn't really want to lose like that close, you know, like no one wants to lose that close. If you, if you get beat, you want to get beat, but, um, and then yeah, the Jan one, I, I thought, you know, I, I fought as hard as I could and I fought as well as I could, you know, on the amount of notice that I got, and you know, I was, I was happy with the way that I did that one, but um, yeah, tough losses. They definitely both hurt just as much as my amateur losses. You know, like I said, they, they all hurt, but uh, they were needed, so it is what it is. You come back, you're in a headliner, right? I mean, I guess does that maybe give you some confidence, you know, some confidence, some comfort knowing that the UFC still sees you as a headliner? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, yeah, I was a little bit worried about where I would be just because, you know, uh, once you take some time off, people really – they start to forget, you know, and uh, and I didn't want to sit on the shelf for too long. So I'm excited that I get to come back for a main event. That's really awesome. I think Song is a very good opponent. He's beaten some really good guys. So uh, I'm excited about that. He's dangerous, which makes him easier to fight. You know, uh, it's always better to be, you know, mentally sharp than it is to think that the guy that you're fighting isn't dangerous. So he brings that to the table. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. And I'm grateful that I get to main event again. He's such a young guy, you know what I mean? And he doesn't have necessarily the name recognition, I think, yet that maybe some of the other guys you fought have. That said, I mean, do you, like, are you excited about this challenge? Or was it kind of like, ah, man, I got to fight the kid? Like, I, I don't know. What do you think about it? No, I don't really value anything other than people's skill sets in the sport, to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm not a spectacle guy. I'm not, like, a drama guy. Those things I just don't really, like, that's not what martial arts is to me. It's okay that other people do that thing. I think that there, there needs to be a balance. And I think that I'm a little bit of that balance to the sport uh, or guys like me you know so um, I'm not into the spectacle piece I think songs a good fighter that's why I'm fighting him you know uh, I, I have you know maybe five six more years left in the sport or however you know however many I have and I don't want to spend those fighting guys that you know are gonna be wins like easy you know like uh, I want to fight the best guys so so I'm okay with this this division is so deep, right? I mean, there's so many good fights lined up right now. Are you thinking at all about, like, what stakes this has? Like, where does this put me? Where does it lead me? What does it mean? Are you thinking about that at all? Uh, no, I, I'm more concerned with just getting a win and getting back in this conversation. Uh, I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to develop and, and show the skills that I, I, I have developed and uh, to get back in the winning column and to start, you know, starting this other title run that, that I'm going to get on. Last thing for me, knowing the way you look at martial arts, and I mean, what's most important? Like, could you go out there and be like, yep, I did everything way better, and I really improved, and I came up short? Like, is that okay? Like, if I evolved, or is this very much results-oriented? Like, no, I got to walk away with a win. Um, no, I'm, uh, it, you know, the pain of the loss is always the exact same, but uh, it is like an easier pill to swallow when you know that you did your best. And I feel like... Uh, yeah, that, that's a lot easier of a pill to swallow, but uh, the, the, the sleepless nights are still the, the amount of, you know, you still lose just as much sleep. Hey, Corey. Um, like John said, like, the uh, Bantamweight division is on fire right now. Um, I just want your thoughts on a couple of fights that are coming up. Um, you've, obviously, you fought um, Dillashaw and uh, Aljamain Sterling. I just want to know your, kind of, your thoughts on that fight. Yeah, I got Aljamain in that one. One reason is because I counted him out so big against Jan, so I won't do that again. Uh, and then another one I think is just because I think what Aljamain does, he does, you know, really world class, like best in the world at doing it, uh, which is getting his hands on you, taking your back, and then, uh, you know, winning that way. And 
I think that in order to not have that be the case, you have to have a lot of stopping power and you have to, like, like that's not an easy style to beat by any means. And I just don't think that TJ has the amount of stopping power in his punches and, and his attacks in order to stop Aljamain from running over there, grabbing him and taking his back. Um, I might be wrong. I'm typically wrong about predicting fights because I don't watch a lot of guys. But um, with this one, I, that's how I see it going. Were you surprised that uh, Sean O'Malley got the Peter Yan fight? Yeah, super surprised. Um, we'll see how it goes for him, I guess. It's three rounds, so that's a little bit more of an advantage for O'Malley. But I think Jan's not a stupid guy, and I think that he's definitely learned from his mistakes in the past, which have been not being aggressive enough in the first round. So I don't think he's going to make that same mistake. I, I think Sean's last uh, showing against Munoz wasn't good. You know, like nothing really happened in the first round. And then he poked the guy in the eye in the second one, you know. So uh, whatever narrative has been around that fight, like that's how that fight went, which should you fight the number one guy after a performance like that? In my opinion, no, but what do I know? I mean, do you think if Sean O'Malley pulls, pulls off the win, he gets the next title shot? Uh, he probably will. Um, Jan's a good fighter. Jan almost beat Sterling in his last one. He was kind of beating him in the one before that. So if he wins, then, you know, I sure, I guess. I, I don't really have an opinion about it, and I don't want to say yes, because maybe if I win this weekend, then, uh, you know, I can maybe jump in that spot if it's impressive enough. But, uh, yeah, I think beating Jan might get you a title shot, yeah. And two other ones, man. Uh, Cheeto Vera, his rise has, has been something to watch. He's knocked out Dominic Cruz. Did, did you see that fight? Uh, I don't really watch the fights, to be honest. Uh, uh, no, I spend my Saturday nights doing like other stuff. Um, I'm at the gym like hours and hours and hours a day. So unless it's someone that I really, really care to learn from, I I've always only watched sports to learn from them, which is why I don't watch anything else other than uh, MMA. But um, no, I, I didn't really care to learn too much from that fight, so I didn't really watch it. Understandable. Thank you. Corey, thanks for taking the time out. Um, and sorry for your losses, by the way. A lot of fighters are, you know, have to be strategic or maybe protect that ranking. You've always been a fighter's fighter. Was there any hesitance to take a guy who's not inside that top five and, and risk that, your, your position? Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Um, yeah, the, like I said, like the rankings are, I feel like, just for people to understand the the guys that are fighting better because there are a lot of fighters in the UFC and when they have a certain number next to them, you know, it gives them a level of importance that may or may not be, they may or may not be qualified for. Uh, but I think Song is, Song is definitely like a top 10 guy and I think that he's a very good fighter. I think, like I said, he's beaten some really good guys before and um, that's why I'm, I'm willing to fight him is because I do think that he's good and I do think that he does bring a danger that is easy for me to wake up for and, and get up for in the morning. So, uh, yeah. Excellent, man. It should be fireworks. Thank you for taking that fight. Um, you have the obvious edge, but do, does that give you a little chip on your shoulder saying like, okay, he hasn't been on the poster before. I know 25 minutes. I for sure got a couple tricks up my sleeve because you have that main event knowledge yeah I, d I definitely know what it's like to yeah you know it wasn't long ago when i had my first five round fight or or first like really tough opponent or or all of the feelings that i feel like he's probably feeling i know what it's like to have those feelings and um and i know that there's just a lot of unanswered questions and mystery is not the most fun thing in in a really stressful situation and uh, I imagine that it's a stressful situation for him just because he's going into a lot of unknowns. And I definitely think that I have that as an advantage amongst some other things. But um, I definitely am still not going to sleep on him. But I definitely think I'm going into this fight with a handful of advantages. Yeah, no doubt. And last for me, if you could elaborate on it, that was my next question. What are the other advantages who you have going into this main event on Saturday? I think that my game is a lot more put together than Song's. I think Song does like a really good job of uh, hitting the on switch, hitting the off switch. And I think that I do a really good job of chaining a lot of things together and being a very fluid guy. Um, I don't operate off of principles that are move based. I op op operate off of principles that are like laws in fighting. Uh, like how to keep yourself safe, when to attack, when not to attack, and all of that. And I don't think Song has the same understanding of, of those things as I do. 
Um, so, yeah. Excellent. Student of the game. Thank you, sir, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. I want to ask one follow-up. Given how scientifically you look at the sport, the fact that you know you can study and put everything in, and at the end of the day, it's still a fist fight and anything can happen, is that your favorite part of the sport or least favorite part of the sport? It's probably the least favorite part of the sport because if it was like who is the smartest fighter, I think I'd probably win most of the time. <laughs> uh, maybe. But um, no, I, I think that uh, it's an interesting part. It's what I think makes the sport so fun to watch. and. Uh, but yeah, maybe not my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not my favorite part. All good? Perfect. Good. Cool.